Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, literally use uh, um, placeholder images in a very effortless way. So the first thing that I'm going to do is um, to create uh, a couple of uh, rectangles and I'm going to duplicate them and then I will select them, uh, remove the borders and uh, yeah, just uh, uh, keep in mind that uh, this plugin only works uh, with uh, uh, shapes so it won't work with uh, bitmap um, images or stuff like that so under the plugins you can see that I installed the content generator plugin which uh, uh, you can see the images and uh, there's basically three options uh, the first one is apply from folder which is the one that uh, I'm going to show you and then second and third uh, it's Flickr and Instagram so it will basically um, source them from uh, these two platforms. But in this case, I'm going to do apply from folder and um, I just select a folder with um, a lot of different uh, JPEGs and um, I'm just going to click on uh, open and uh, now it's loading up. And uh, what is it going to do? It's uh, basically going to um, sort images from that folder and uh, attach them uh, in the rectangle without you having to manually go into the fill and uh, choosing the image one by one. Um, the way that it's, it's doing this, it's uh, with uh, a random um, algorithm, I guess. So yeah, this is uh, something that I use all the time in my projects. And uh, I believe that a similar feature has uh, been added also in the craft plugin by Envision, which is actually really, really good. So there's two ways you can um, go around this, either with this plugin or the Envision one. Um, just uh, you know, feel free to use whichever uh, works best for you. So yeah, this is basically it for this video. If you have uh, any questions uh, uh, regarding Sketch or UI UX design, feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I will get back to you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.